God bless you. My name is Pastor A.J. Beach of the Great Anointing Harvest Church. This is the Hour of Favor, Favor Broadcast. Yes, I need you to call your friends, your neighbor, mom and them. Call everybody. Uh, we got a great guest here, and I'm telling you, you are going to be blessed. Come on, call somebody right now. We're going to take you into the broadcast, but before we do, I got a guest with me here, and we're going to talk about a powerful book. Matter of fact, before I give away the title, I'm going to let her say the title. Yes, my guest is today, Melissa Freeman. How are you today? I'm so well. Thank you for <laughs> welcoming me to your platform. This is awesome. Um, the name of my book is What's Butterflies Got to Do With It? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, that sounds familiar, huh? <laughs> so we're going we, we in for something good today, really. And this is the book right here. We're going to talk about it. God is good. Well, Sister Melissa, are you evangelist or uh, pastor or something? What, what do you do? What, I, what, what I do, am you do? A, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, yes. I love that because people love when they can kind of connect with the authors. I'm a minister at my church, Bethlehem Apostolic Faith Church of God. That's located in Dorchester. Um, I've been in ministry for, I want to say, 20 plus years, just doing everything I can, community days, preaching, teaching, um, writing books where I can minister amen, to people amen, through amen. Um, different ways, um, working with the young people. There's a lot that I do when it comes to ministry, but I'm also a mother. Amen, amen. I'm also a wife. Um, and I've been married for 10 years. How many kids you got? I have one. I have two. One, um, he is 21. And then my other son is nine. Amen. Ten is yeah. foundation. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Well, we bless God for that. Say hi to your husband and your I know. kids. Hello, family. Hello. <laughs> Hello, family. Well, uh, uh, Minister Melissa, let's talk about this book. The title of this book, What's Butterfly Got to Do With It? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a book, the title makes you want to read the book. And just by hearing your title, it makes me want to read. I'm not a reader. I'm an author myself, but I'm not a reader. But once I saw the title, What's Butterfly Got to Do With Us? Tell us about the book. What's inspired you to write this book? Well, the first thing is, I just feel like so many people struggle in relationships and marriage, and not many people are talking about how to have a healthy relationship and how to have a healthy marriage. People kind of just praise like being together for a long time, but not being together in a healthy way. So my book is, is so profound, okay? There's like two... Folds. You ready for the two folds? Uh, we're ready. The audience <laughs> are ready. Talk to us. All right. First, it says, what's butterflies got to do with it? Because many times we have these feelings and we believe that those feelings tell us this is the person, this is my soulmate, this is who I should be with, and not recognizing that relationships is really built on trust and communication and love. And so when you try to build it on butterflies, those butterflies fade. Mm. And so when they fade, then you're left with what? No foundation. So my book is trying to give that solid foundation of a healthy relationship, whether it be with yourself, because it talks about the relationship you have with yourself, whether it be with um, your mate. So in my book, I don't say dating either. I say interviewing, because you're really interviewing. Wow. So wow. the relationship you have when you're interviewing. Um, and then I go into what it's like to be, to create a family, pre-marriage, marriage. All these are seasons that many people don't talk about. We really just focus on either you're interviewing, which the world calls dating, or you are married. And there's so many relationships that... Um, Allow now, us to be successful. I want you to break down because there's a lot of... I, I never believe in dating. I got married in three months. Um, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I, I met my wife in three months. In the mm -hmm. next three months, I'm married. So in six months. Mm -hmm. um, I, I stayed celibate for four and a half years. So I didn't want to mess up. So once the Lord told me she was my wife, I married her immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not the guy, but explain to us between dating or the word you just used. Interviewing. Interviewing. Yeah. Explain that because there's a lot of Christians are dating. And, you know, I always say when people tell me that 
they're getting married. I said, is this an everlasting engagement? That means they never gone out to the altar. Mm -hmm. They just always dating. The mm-hmm. difference between dating and interview. I want you to break that down for the audience. All talk right. to us about that. All right, that's, that's very a really powerful. good. Yes, that's a good question. Dating means you're all in. You put your all in. Your heart's all in. You have not investigated yet. You haven't asked any questions. And so, just like naturally, when we go to an interview. They ask us questions. They want to know who you are. Are you qualified? Should you be someone I continue to go on a second, third, fourth interview with? Mm -hmm. So just like when you are going to a natural interview, they want to see first if we like you. Do we love your energy? And then they bring you back again. Okay. So it's stages. Stages, yes. All right. Nice, nice. So it's not all in. It's getting to know who you are. And that's it. Which means your heart is not attached to that Mm -hmm. person. So there's no sex. Mm. There is no... I Go must ahead. say this because on the first date, we're dating, so we're having sex. Absolutely that's what, not. That's what many people do. Oh, we're dating, so we should have sex. And that's why the butterflies last longer. So that's the feeling. That's an emotion. Yes. But they don't, they don't hold that relationship together. And so people get blinded when they try to add sex while they are interviewing. Second... He was about to say something else. Second. The second one is, the second time you come to an interview, usually you see about three to four people in front of you. Mm. There's a reason for that. Now they want to get a different perspective. They want to know, do you see what I see? Is this a good person for me? So what do we do? We bring the person that we consider to be maybe qualified to our family. Okay. Let them inspect. <laughs> Ask their hold questions. On, hold on here. So who you brought, mom and them or dad or who? who, who? <laughs> Usually people don't go with their parents first because parents are always just, they're extra. Okay. So what close friends extra? and family. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> close friends and family. Try that out first. Then okay. if they pass that, then okay, the third interview, let's go with the parents. See how they feel. Wow. So you leave the parent last. Yes, because parents, I mean... For reason? You're a parent, right? I'm a mm-hmm. parent. You know, no exactly. one's going no to be good enough for my son. Mm-hmm. And he's only right, nine. Right. Ain't nobody <laughs> going to be good enough for my daughter. Hey, look, we got to go. I'm telling you, I'm being blessed here. <laughs> hey, we're talking from the book, uh, a very own Sister Freeman, What's Butterfly Got to Do With It? We're talking, man, it's powerful here. We got to go. Look, you stay tuned. We're going to go into the message, and we'll be right back to talk some more about this powerful book. Bless you. I hope you was touched by that powerful word. Make sure to call in. Somebody needs to pray for you. Give us a call and you're going to be blessed. But without any further ado, (laughs) my sister, amen, we were just deep in your book. We have a powerful book here, Minister, amen, Sister Freeman. And we was talking earlier about a title, Dating and uh, um, interviewing. interviewing. And mm-hmm. I don't even want to touch that because we were so deep on that and we left off the last person you will show up is the family because, you know, that guy ain't too good enough for my daughter or mm-hmm. for my son. But, you know, we got a short time. So I need you to talk to us about some more title in this book, What's Butterfly Gots to Do With It? Yes, What's Butterfly's Got to Do talk With It? Talk quickly Listen. a little bit about yourself because we got some new people just tuned in. So tell us about yourself, what you do. Yes, of course. I'm a minister at Bethlehem Apostolic Faith Church of God I'm under Bishop William Roberts. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am very involved in doing God's work, and part of doing God's work is this book. So you've been married for 10 years, so she is qualified. She's a doctor. She (laughs) is qualified. (laughs) 10 years. I hope 10 years means I'm qualified. (laughs) Yes, 10 years in school, you're Mm -hmm. a doctor. Now, tell us a little bit about, uh, secondly, we talk about dating and um, interviewing, but What's the other title you like to talk about? A couple of topics. So that's just one chapter where I talk about the art of interviewing. There's so many other chapters in there. Mm -hmm. The art of um, childhood. So I start there. Well, tell us a little bit about that. Because it's important, you know, because a lot of problem we have in a relationship is childhood. Yes. So I actually start there. The art of childhood. Because there are many things that we go through. Sometimes we don't even recognize it's affected us. Mm. And then we bring it into every relationship we have. We bring it into every marriage we have. And what happens is sometimes you're having arguments. It's all because you didn't do your self work. Mm. You didn't have the relationship with yourself. I Ooh, always... Hold all on right. there. Hold on there. <laughs> my, my, my. That's deep right there. Whoa. Mm-hmm. 
you did not have a relationship with yourself. That's, That's right. powerful. That's right. Keep going. I'm just so sorry to interrupt you on that one. No, it's My good. goodness. Some, some people don't love themselves. They don't uh -huh. treat themselves well. So how can you get connected to someone and recognize if they're treating you well uh -huh. if you haven't treated yourself well? Wow. So the relationship with yourself is the first step. So my book is a journey. There are steps that you take from beginning to end. So it starts from that, the art of childhood, but then it ends with the art of me. So mm -hmm. although in between each chapter, we are talking about the relationship you have when you're interviewing, with the relationship you have as a mom, as a husband, the relationship you have when you're married, it still digs deep into who you are. And so I use the art of because my, what works for my marriage may not work for yours. Exactly. Nice. So this book carries you in that journey so you can identify what's going to work for you mm -hmm. and how it's going to work for you, what it's going to look like. And if you do some kind of art and we have the same colors and we start to do what we want to do, even if we have a teacher in front of us telling us how to do it, your picture is going to look different than mine. Wow. Because it needs to fit you. Mm -hmm. And so mine needs to fit me. So in the book, I'm not saying do this, don't do that. What I am doing is trying to take you on the journey so you can have a healthy relationship, no matter what relationship it is. Not just dating, what the world calls dating, interviewing, and not just marriage, but with yourself, with your family, with your friends. There's a chapter, The Art of Friends. All these things are Things that help us stay healthy. Wow, because in a marriage, you can have, in a relationship, you can have a wedding, but still don't have a, what they say, a wedding, you have a wedding, but do you have a marriage? That's right. You have a wedding, but do you have a relationship? Mm -hmm. Because in the relationship, sometimes the woman is dealing with the little boy in me, mm -hmm. and the man is dealing with the little girl yes. in you. Mm -hmm. So when you go back and break these things down, it will help each other to have a better relationship. This book is very powerful. Tell us some more. Give us, what was other title? I will tell you what stands out my book from other books. No, you tell us. Now, <laughs> I've read a lot of relationship books. And they don't go into how to get you there. They just talk, talk about their journey. Surface. Yes. In my book, I do talk about my journey because you need to know, like, I've been through some stuff. But also, I'm giving strategies. Mm -hmm. I'm giving reflection pages. So mm -hmm. after you read a chapter, you have a moment to think about what was said, what resonated with you, what do you want to change. There's a whole list of reflection questions. And then there's also surveys in there to find out who you are as a person that you may not even notice. Um, and yeah, activities. So it's a journey. So you go, you go deep. Yes. You just more than just talk it. You go deep. Your ends on. You give an example, and that's uh, that's the best way for someone to understand. After you read the book, it's more than just reading the book, yes. but you break it down. Man, this book is powerful. What's butterfly got to do with it? Because after the emotion is gone, the reality shows up. Mm -hmm. After the all that um, honeymoon, you still got to come home mm -hmm. and deal with reality. You need to go check out this powerful book. The information is on the screen. What's Butterfly got to do with it? After all of the emotion, you got to deal with reality. <laughs> well, right. God bless you again. This is Favor Broadcast with your host, Pastor A.J. Beach, talking to our very own Minister Freeman about her powerful book. Make sure you call her. Look her up. She, she's a